So, I heard you just bought this really beautiful lesson plan off Teachers Pay Teachers that has all the fonts, all the colors, all the everything. But it takes a lot of prep work and printing to share that with students. So sharing digitally is a great option. But how do you do that if the PDF is not editable and how are students gonna work on it? I'm here to help you solve that problem. I'm Naomi from Marvelous Miss Meredith and today I'm going to show you how you can make a non-editable PDF digital and share with students in Google Classroom. So let's say I purchased this lesson plan off Teachers Pay Teachers and I want to share it with my students and not actually have to make copies for them. I really want my students to be working in authentic ways and typing their responses is a great way for them to practice their typing skills and also be able to respond digitally. Now, just a little side tip, this is something off of my own store, so obviously I'm not buying my own things. So I have it actually downloaded right here. So just for the uses of this demonstration. I have this part of the worksheet about life cycles that I want to share with students. And instead of printing these out, I want students to be able to type in these boxes and even change the font size if they type a whole lot. And it's great, they can actually check their spelling along the way. But what well, I can't share this in Google Classroom, but they can't type on it. It's a PDF. They don't have access to that. And I didn't create this PDF in a way where they could type in it. So how in the world are we going to do that? Now, I am on a Microsoft um, piece of technology. So taking a screenshot on an Apple is a little bit different. So with Microsoft, you will be using the snipping tool. I have it saved to my toolbar at the bottom. You can also go into your search and search for snipping tool to your and it will pop up and that's actually how you take screenshots and get exactly what you want. So I'm going to open up my snipping tool. And I'm going to click new. I'm going to snip something up. I'm going to cut it out. I want this worksheet, like I said. So I'm going to drag and cut out what I want. Okay, and it looks like this. Now I need to save it as an image. I can, it, this will make a lot more sense in a second. So I'm going to click save. And I usually save things to my desktop because I don't save really anything to my computer and I just delete stuff right away. So I'm going to save this as life cycle worksheet. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. I, like I said, I'm going to delete it in a little bit. Now, the next thing you need to have open is your Google Drive. Okay. Google Drive makes it a lot easier to share things with students and to create things that they can work in. I'm going to click new. And I'm gonna click Google Slides. You might think I want a document. I actually do most of my creation and editing within Google Slides. I used to be a big fan of Microsoft Word back in the day because with Microsoft Word, you can layer everything really, really nicely. Google Docs, you can't do that right now. PowerPoint is also helpful too, but remember I'm sharing this with students digitally and I want them to edit. If I do anything in Google Slides right away, I don't have to change the formatting and I don't have to change the font. So I'm probably not like most people, but Google Slides is like my BFF for life. So I'm gonna click Google Slides. And it's a new one, so it's gonna take a moment to load. It gives me all these themes. I don't need those. I'm gonna click Close. Also right away, I delete, I click on the box and delete the um, four options that it gives me. Right now I'm gonna call this Delete Me Worksheet. I don't need this. Now, this might look like the right size. Let's say I do want to eventually print off their work. Maybe I need it for evidence for parent-teacher conferences or an IEP meeting or just add it to a data folder. Whatever it is, I delete all that was on there. I'm going to go to File, Page Setup. And right now it's on widescreen. This is the default for Google Slides. I'm going to click Custom. And I'm going to make this page just like a sheet of copy paper, 8.5 by 11. Oh, now I can make it that way. <laughs> uh, remember, our worksheet was the other size. So I'm going to do 11 by 8.5. 
so you can see. So this is a sheet of copy paper. I want my worksheet on here, but I don't want them actually to be able to move the worksheet around. So here's a little trick for you. If I right click, so I actually use a computer mouse, so I do right click, or two fingers on the touchpad. If I right click on the baby slide on the side and click change background, I can change the color or I can choose an image. Now remember, we took a screenshot of the page that we want and we saved it as an image. So if I click choose and I want to choose an image to upload, I'm gonna click desktop because that's where we saved our image. Where did it go? Our lifecycle worksheet PNG. PNG is an image file. JPEG is also an image file. I'm gonna click this and click open. And it will take a moment, I'm click done. And this is my background of my worksheet. Students cannot move any of my things around. So they can't say, oh, I deleted the question. I don't know what to do. They can't do that. Now they do need to type. This is up to you. You can go ahead and actually add text boxes where you want them to type. So I could say, type your answer here. Or if you want, you can actually leave this open and have students create their own text boxes. It's up to you and the age of your students that you have and how much task uh, time you want them working on this task, definitely up to you. I can even copy and paste. So let's say I do want to give them all the um, boxes already. I'm going to just copy and paste. I'm doing control C and control V on my keyboard. And I'm just copying and pasting the boxes. One thing when I do something like this is I tell students that if you are typing more than what the box allows, I do let them change the size of their font. And I do let them to actually change the font so it's able to read my little word of advice is I tell them you can change the font to something that is not cursive and is not a handwriting font because they somehow, kids really find these unique fonts that are hard to read. Okay, so I have this in here and I'm making this a digital worksheet that I can share with students. So I'm just adding all these text boxes for them. Especially with younger students, if you say type your answer here, it gives them a visual of what they need to get done too. All right, so here's how I create a digital worksheet that I can share with them in Google Classroom. Remember, if you're sharing with them in Google Classroom or Schoology, make sure that you make a copy for them. If you have just share the document, everyone will be on the same one at once and it'll get a little bit wild. So that's how you do that with here.